Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm DJ Keld in the Antidote. I'm back with this tutorial on Virtual DJ on how to change the interface from a starter interface to a pro interface. It's a short tutorial. Hope you're going to learn something new. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. So let's start off. So whenever you install Virtual DJ, it will come with these default settings. You will get this interface. It's a starter interface. It doesn't have much details, just a, like an introduction part of Virtual DJ. When you are starting off, you don't need a lot of things because it can complicate you trying to learn the Virtual DJ. So when you get used to it, you need to change some things. So you can switch to a Pro interface. It has a lot of details and it's easy to play music with it at a pro level. So, but when you're starting off trying to learn about virtual DJ, start with this starter level. Then as you go on, you get used to it and you switch there to the pro interface. So how you go about it, you see at the top, you have the part named layout. So the layout, you click on the down drop. You can see the starter, essential, pro performance. So all, the, all of these things depends on what you want to do with it. So if you are performing live, you can choose performance. And with performance, it comes with a lot of details. You can see there's a video part, there's a mixer part. So what you do, you can choose to change here to what you what will be displayed on the video. So for instance, there's a mixer, you want to change about the mixer, you can just uncheck it. And you can see it disappears. If you don't want to see the video part, just click on video and it does disappear. But for this tutorial, you're just going to change to the pro setup because it is the most commonly used. And also with my pre preference that I usually commonly use uh, uh, when making mixtapes and playing live. So just come to pro. So click on pro. So on pro is a bit detailed. And also it is easy to visualize what you want to do with it. If you compare to Serato, they are almost the same. So what you do, you come to the level part. So you, just, you start changing from the color scheme. So the color scheme, you can see the default contra contrast, dark mode and daylight. So you can choose contrast. See it is a bit dark. You can choose uh, the dark mode. You can also choose the uh, daylight, but the daylight is a bit bright, so I don't prefer using it. So I usually use the the default setting. The next thing I want to change is the uh, waveform display. Here's a waveform above here, this one. So for my for myself, I prefer using the full spectrum. So just come and click full spectrum, click on it. As you can see, it is well colored. And this will help you to identify different parts of a song, like the bass, the snare. All of them have different colors, so it's much easier. If you select another color, like if you select the mirrored rhythm, it's only change the how they display. For instance, let me do it. As you can see, the bits are not well aligned. It's not much clear like where the bass is, where the snare is. So I prefer using the the full spectrum, but you can also see the rhythm enhanced. Also don't like the rhythm enhanced, doesn't look much professional. So let's stick to the full spectrum. So another thing I want to change is the waveform. I mean the jog goods. Also on the waveform, you can also change the colors. The different colors, you can choose uh, mono, monochrome. So for monochrome, the whole audio track has the same color. For deck A, you see this red, deck B. I mean deck, deck A is blue and deck B is red. So you can choose that, but I prefer using different colors. To look more professional, you can also choose multiple colors. 
so multiple colors looks like that just your preference what you you like so for personally i like using the full spectrum looks so professional then on on the waveform you can also change a bit of things like for instance you can also change the position so on my preference i like it below down there to look small like serato so i actually prefer using it on that level you can also change uh, to see there the the grid line so if you click it able to, to visualize these grid lines something else you can change on the waveform the bar counter so as you know when you are mixing into songs you need to know how many bars a certain song has some has eight bars others have 16 and others 32 so you need you can also choose this option to, to display here on the, the song plays so you're done with the waveform so you come to the jog wheel so this is a jog wheel so you can also change some things about it you can add some details as you can see for now the jog wheel is very plain you can add something on it to look to make it look uh, good and easier to use so if you click on the needle and text you see there are additional details like the bpm the duration of the song then the pitch so it makes your work very easy when DJing. So you should prefer sticking with that because you see here so are the the BPM up here. But when you're DJing, it's much easier to see all the things in the same place, the pitch, the duration of the song and the BPM are the same point. So for Joe Google doesn't have a lot of things. So let's come to the beat counter. The beat counter you can also do some changes if you click there, this phrase bus or the phrase circles let's see what happens i have I, I noticed a change and let me do it again and see if there's anything that changes oh so so what happens when you click on the jog wheel i mean the bit counter just notice up here is some difference so you click the the phrase circle they'll come up what else can you change? Show on waveform. Other bit count up on the waveform. If you just uncheck it as you have, as you have done, they just display on that point. So that's how you come up with a very professional interface for virtual DJ. Just play around with it and see what fits your preference. So for this tutorial, that's all. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, like, and share. Leave a comment. If you have any question or any additional comments, just write them below the comment section. Don't forget to like the video. I see you on the next tutorial. Peace.